What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another video for Diablo 4 Season 3. Okay, and then we're going to go over and do the Arcane Tremors. Okay, this is gathering cores from Elemental Obelisks and depositing them into the Brazers to provoke Herald of Malthus. Okay, this is going to be the main way how you get a lot of these items, particularly the Pearls of Warding, which we talked about in a previous video for doing the brand new Vaults. In the vault sigils okay so i'm going to kind of show you guys how this works this is fairly easy to do but just in case if anybody doesn't understand it so we're going to come over here you got uh some guardians a conduit of ice which is cool just kill all these things and you're looking for the shattered stones okay shattered stones is what we're looking for but we're going to come over here and go grab this Okay, so what you're going to be looking for is these gilded or gelid blaze the brazers essentially. So what these brazers are going to do is you're going to come in here, okay? The Herald of Malphus. You need elemental cores and you need shattering stones. So you can get shattering stones just from killing any of the constructs. Okay, those drop those. And how you get the um, the elemental the elemental cores is these items right here okay it's these obelisks you can come in and destroy it it's going to drop elemental cores and shattering stones i just died showing you guys that r.i.p we got to create a new character haha -ha, just kidding so every single time you stop one of these as long as you can do it and not die which this thing is extremely annoying get the op okay get the obelisk done love it i just constantly get hit by stuff boom again drops elemental cores okay super easy to do you just gather up these materials you just farm these areas just like you would kind of like the seasonal you know the the holiday event from the last few or the last month and in, in the last season so we killed him we're gonna kill this construct really quickly because he seems like an annoying boss so you're gonna go grab one of these brazers oh somebody already popped it sweet but you're gonna use the elemental cores in the in the uh elemental cores and the shattered stones and it's gonna pop this this is gonna be or replicate basically a similar vamp tide effect where it's gonna spawn a bunch of monsters we're gonna kill all of them and we're going to be able to get a lot of really, really good loot and a lot of, lot, a lot, a lot of resources, as you can see from it dropping. The only caveat to this is, shout out to Rob because he did one really, really earlier today, is that you can do this infinitely as long as you have the resources to do it, the Shatter Stones and Elemental Cores, and you actually have some other people around. So we got another Governing Stone for the Firefly, which is sweet. Now it goes to rank two. That's super, super good. But that's it. It ends just like that. So you can go to the Brazer. Again, it's going to cost three cores. 50 of these. I'm going to pop it and activate it. We're going to do it one more time. And we want to kill the Herald. Okay? We want to kill the Herald. Because the Herald is what's going to give us our Pearls of Warding. You can see I had six before this. And now I have nine from killing the Herald. So this is a really, really good way to farm up the uh the heralds which you can do or excuse me not the heralds but the po the pearls of warding which you can take into the vaults the brand new vaults it's good to do this so that way you can get all of your potents of warding for the vaults so that way you don't have to worry about like losing them and opening every chest at the end which we talked about in our previous video so we're now we're just going to kill the herald he's pretty strong he comes with three you know abilities on him he's not too bad right we're going to kill him. And you can see he drops us tuning stones and governing stones. And then all of our pearls of warding. So he gave us one this time instead of getting three. And now we have these. And this is the other way to, to kind of gain our, our governing stones and our tuning stones. So now we have Firefly, which is super strong. We're going to end up putting that in in just a second. But boom, level that up. But yeah, you can do this indefinitely, guys. You can do this infinitely. You just have to farm all of the monsters. Getting the the Shatterstones is fairly easy. It's the cores that are really the issue. 
because you have to find these these uh, obelisks here. And you can see I can't, after I close this one, it's grayed out on my map. You can see it's grayed out, so I can't open it again. So I have to go to another area and wait for it to re either respawn or reset the instance or the area, or I have to just go find new um, obelisks to kind of close to get those elemental cores. But yeah, guys, that's it. We got the gilded. We got another herald spawning. Let's see how many he gives us this time. We're going to spam our meteors. We got another elixir that just dropped. That's huge. We don't want to die. I'm like super frozen for some reason. Super, super frozen. All right. He's going to die. Awesome. Let's see what he drops us this time. We get one. So we get anywhere from one to three. It's not bad. We got more of our stones which is just fantastic and again we're already up to a level pearls so yeah guys that is how you farm this super easy to do it's the brand part it's like half of the brand new seasonal content in the game you're just farming these over and over again you can see we're going on our fourth time now just with other people being here super easy to do guys so like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace